Hello Aries, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. This is Silla V. I'm going to do a reading for you guys for the month of July. I hope you guys are doing very well. I hope you guys are in positive spirits and all that goodness, right? So let's get started. Let's see what spirit has to say for the month of July. We're in July already. Mm, let's see what's going on with you guys. Oh, chemistry spark passion desire yeah what's up what's going on with you guys chemistry spark passion and desire did you guys meet someone and shattered damaged heartbroken destroyed conflicted and avoiding this is so interesting and confessions guys okay so chemistry so obviously this is somebody that definitely had a dose of your aries love someone that um shared a lot of passion with you desire love honestly i'm going to get another card for you guys here Just bear with me yeah i feel like you guys were possibly dealing with something that didn't work out right yeah didn't work out that left you damaged um or even left that person damaged or you could have been dealing with someone that was damaged, right? Take it how it resonated or resonates. Um, but I do feel like there is this energy of being conflicted. Um, I do feel like your person is avoiding you, avoiding this chemistry, avoiding this relationship. But while they're doing it, it's bringing them a lot of pain. It's bringing them a lot of sleepless nights. Um, someone here is not knowing what decision to make, whether they should possibly contact you or not contact you um and if they are contact you they're not really telling you how they truly feel they're avoiding the um their true feelings that's what they're doing um i feel like this is like a very this is like a push and pull relationship i do feel like there's like a lot of game playing but again there's so much chemistry right um i do feel like there was a lot of pain in this relationship um and it left you shattered all right it left you not wanting to open up for now i don't feel like you guys want to open up to a relationship right now i don't feel like you want to open up to any type of offer at this moment um and nor does your person okay if your person is dealing with someone else i do feel like they're still conflicted um i do feel like whoever they're dealing with they're picking up on this person not being consistent all right. I feel like someone is going back and forth in their emotions, in their mind, in the thought of what do I do? How do I do it? Um, what is Aries doing? Who is Aries giving this passion and desire to? Um, yeah, but honestly, Aries, I feel like you're just avoiding the situation and just pushing away, pulling away, taking your energy out of it, saying, stating that I'm no longer going to give this my all. I, I, I can't. But I do feel like in the back of your mind here, you guys are constantly thinking like, should I contact this person? For some areas, it's not all. But I do feel like there's a small energy of should I contact this person? Okay, this may be your person, but I do feel like this is for some of my Aries here. There is a lot of pain here, which is why I feel like a lot of you at this time do not really want to deal with this relationship at this time. Um, I do feel like you guys wouldn't mind this person contacting you, right? I do feel like if this person were to contact you, yeah, you would give them some time. You would talk to them about the situation. But honestly, I feel, I'm feeling like you guys are in your energy right now. You guys are in a place where you're feeling like I'm putting my foot down. I'm not contacting this person. I don't care what happens. I'm not going to contact this person. I'm not going to give in. I'm not contacting. I've done enough. I feel like you guys have a plan, whether you guys are focusing on other things and maybe your money. I do feel like it's your money. You're focusing on growing, becoming successful, becoming a boss, becoming um, a leader. Um, right. You guys may be dealing with someone that's very stubborn right someone that just doesn't want to cooperate and i feel like you're just turning your head away from from that direction not really focusing on them anymore i mean i i really feel like you guys are not planning to do much you're not planning to do anything you're really looking forward to your success honestly that's what you're looking forward to um i feel like you guys have walked away i feel like this person is dreading the thought of losing you 
okay i don't really think that this person has come to the understanding that you are walking away that you are done all right because i feel like this person feels like the love the intimacy the passion that was there is enough to keep everything going but it it's not at this point i feel like the final words that this person said to you possibly was so disappointing and so petty right that you had no you had no choice but to walk away from the situation aries right so i feel like this person is trying to figure out they may be watching you they may be watching you okay um trying to figure out if you're going to budge trying to figure out if you still love them if you still care okay i feel like there was a lot of passion and a lot of fire in this relationship nine of cups we have the nine of cups here and the six of wands ah oh, i do feel like you guys are feeling somewhat free though okay you're feeling more free you want to you want to honestly experience what else is out there yes you have love for this person but i feel like you're like okay this is my time to shine you know this is my time to focus on my pentacles focus on my new career okay it's my time right it's definitely my time but however i feel like in the back of somebody's mind here this this uh relationship this chemistry is still coming back back and forth back and forth okay and this may be your person as well while your person's at work they're still thinking about you, you guys could have been dating someone or dealing married with to someone that was um possibly in a you know a high position in their workplace or some sort of manager or whatever they were but they were respected here but I'm feeling like you guys are feeling like you're free. You're you're actually taking your power back from this situation. You're no longer feeling like this person has control over you. I feel like for a lot of you guys, the moment that this person comes back, you're just honestly, you know, you're wanting to hear what they have to say. But I feel like a lot of you guys are going to give them a piece of your mind as well. You know, poor person. Yeah. Someone here is still trapped in this energy, this energy of, of pain, this energy of disappointment, being stuck, right? Having this relationship on their mind constantly. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you knew like when this person was going to end the relationship or you, you started feeling like things weren't going well. This person started pulling away. But for some reason, I feel like you guys just... You guys continuously went back to this relationship because of the level of love, because of the level of intimacy and passion here. I feel like this person constantly would put this relationship on hold. You guys could have been dealing with a Pisces here or a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo or another Aries. But somebody would just randomly put this relationship on hold. Ghost. You know, they would just do their own thing as if they're not in a relationship with you. Okay, so you guys got tired of that. You guys got honestly tired of that, right? Here, Ten of Swords. I feel like you guys are just walking away. I know there was another card under here. Huh. Look at this. Two of Cups. Somebody here was sabotaging this love, like this love connection here. Was this person afraid of moving into a higher place of commitment? Like... I feel like someone was very scared here, very scared what other people would think, very scared of making a decision to commit because they knew what would come with that commitment. But I feel like you guys are coming out of this place of heartache, coming out of this place of pain. You know, shortly, you guys are definitely moving out of this place, guys. And I feel like your person feels like they're losing you. They, they, they're wondering. How does Aries feel about me? Does Aries still love me? Look at this. There's so much love here though, guys. And I know some of you guys, you're like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Because I feel like Aries, you do not want to deal with this. Because this honestly shattered you. It really did. But for some reason, this connection is still here. But I feel like a lot of you guys aren't willing to go back to this. You're feeling like this relationship was possibly you know you were being taken advantage of this person really didn't appreciate you this person didn't appreciate your time they didn't appreciate your your efforts i feel like you guys were doing things that you normally do for no one and every time you yeah change yeah if this person has not changed and you know i really honestly don't think they have i don't feel like you're gonna open up to them anymore i really don't yeah you want to deal with someone that's transparent. You guys could have been dealing with a Aquarius. 
You guys want to deal with someone that is transparent, that is stable, that is loving, that is caring, that makes you a priority, that loves you for who you are and doesn't judge you and actually wants long term. And I feel like this person would go back and forth with if they're if they're wanting long term or not. And you're over it. You're over it. I feel like you guys made a decision to not sit in a painful place, not sit in this place of being sad. Although I do get that sometimes you guys are sad, but you're making a decision to free yourself, to release that energy, that energy of still wanting another chance with this person. I feel like this person wants another chance with you here. Could have been dealing with a Virgo. They want another chance, but honestly, I feel like when they come back, their offer is not really going to be something that you're really wanting to take. Aries, I feel like a lot of your relationships, you know, that you're starting, you guys are starting to honestly look back at some of the relationships that you guys had in the past. Trying to figure out, like, why do I always get hurt? Why am I always, like, you know, not able to to have a successful relationship i feel like you're really evaluating that right now for some you guys are not even focused on relationships right now you're just focused on yourself you're focusing on your self growth your time i feel like you don't want to waste your time anymore is what i'm hearing don't want to waste your time don't want to waste your energy yeah you guys made a decision some of you guys may have like a little bit of attitude going on but i feel like it's okay you're making an attitude, you're having an attitude, but you're also sticking up for yourself. You're sticking up for what you believe that you deserve, okay? And you guys deserve real love. You guys deserve commitment. You guys deserve someone that's going to be transparent, all right? Although I do feel like you guys are shutting a lot of people out right now. You guys could be dealing with a Taurus or have a friend that's a Taurus or somebody that's very stubborn um, that you possibly or a friend that you had to block or somebody that you just blocked someone's being someone's being um, someone's not being very nice is what I'm hearing but yeah you guys just made a decision to stop dealing with people that are wasting your time you're over it even people that you're not interested in that are constantly texting you you're just asking yourself like why please stop wasting my time but I st still feel like there's this energy of What's going to happen when this person comes back? Okay, I do feel like your person is still conflicted. They're still conflicted. I, I don't know what they're conflicted about. The love is here. The connection is here. But they're still conflicted. They're shattered as well. And they're, what they're trying to do is they're trying to run from this love, trying to run from this connection. But they could only go so far. They could only go so far is what I'm hearing. They're not used to you not contacting them and trying to fix this they're not used to this energy this is different for them they know that it's their turn gratitude and appreciation is all that you want and all that you will get and this is what you guys deserve moving on here love true connections true friendships true relationships i feel like you guys have walked away from a lot of people that you felt like did not have your best interests right at hand and you guys just got rid of that energy you guys put your foot down okay be very careful that you guys may not say things that um, may hurt people okay so you just want to be careful with the things that you do say guys um here again be your best self always and that's what you guys are honestly focusing on moving forward here i don't see you guys really opening your heart to someone new at this time i don't feel that i feel like right now you're just trying to heal and you're trying to focus on your success focusing on your growth right renewal of peace i feel like for some of you guys you guys just sleep better at night now and honestly spirit is just saying you did your part you loved this person unconditionally and you did nothing wrong for some of you guys yes you guys are not innocent however you're understanding that this person was not giving to this relationship as much as you were giving to this relationship and knowing that you've learned your lesson now you guys are just walking away walking away and finding peace now you guys feel free okay this is beautiful guys this is beautiful yeah yeah, but there's still an energy of contemplation. But I feel like this is your person, though. 
I feel like your person's constantly thinking about you. I do feel like this person's going to want to come back in and talk to you. They're going to want to talk to you, okay? They are going to avoid the facts, avoid the hurt, avoid the part that they played in this relationship they are. But I honestly feel like the conversation may not go the best because you're going to pick up on their BS <laughs> to some extent. But I definitely feel like this person is coming in a, uh, coming from a place of wanting to know how you feel, wanting to know if you still love them, wanting to know if you're willing to try this again. For some of you guys, this person wants to know how to love you, learn how to love you. Okay, so it's definitely up to you guys if you guys want to give this person a chance again. Let me know in the comments, guys. So I will talk to you guys soon, Aries. Um, have a wonderful July. Enjoy. Bye.